Hi guys, it's me, Andrea. I will show you today a card I make with uh, tons of little houses. I got my new dice from Tim Holtz, this little houses and the skyline and I love them so much, absolutely beautiful. It is a bit, yeah, a lot to do actually with all the little, I don't know how many dice is it. It's 20, 23 dice in one and the other ones with the skylights are only two, but I, yeah. It is quite a lot of um, cutting. What I do here, I prepare a simple piece of paper here, a bit of, um, it's not that heavy, medium heavy watercolour paper, with a lot of paint, dab it with my fingers, with my dilution paints, to get a nice colourful background. Here I, I spritz a bit with, or sprinkle a bit with uh, white acrylic, and a bit with black acrylic ink. And that's what I use, actually. And I start here with the body of the houses, so the main bits here, you can see the dice, with the colourful parts here. And for the additional parts, that means the roofs and um, the balcony things and whatever, on the frame, the window frames, I use black cardstock. So I got it out here. And you can see all my arms are a bit wet because I sprayed myself over and over with water. It was so hot. It's still hot. And But that was extremely hot. I, I put the, the... I took a picture of a thermometer here in my studio. It was almost 30 degrees. So I wasn't up for a lot of work with paint. Wasn't, it, oh, it was impossible. The paint dried immediately and... Oh, so I work here with my little dies and um, that's okay. So you can see here the uh, little parts, the uh, em yeah, embellishment, call it embellishment. I died, a die cut from, died, I die cut from <laughs> a black cardstock. And I thought the, yeah, it was a bit busy with all the colors going on. And so that's why I decided to make a second set, but you will see here that, that one. I assemble it now to show you what it looks like when it's done. And of course, you can choose so many combinations here. You can have a white house with all the additional parts in all the sorts of colors, you know, and that's what I really like. And you can use only one house and only two or assemble it in the way in so many different ways and that's so just my thing and that's glued down now and I will show you here the black ones that's why I did I used a black cardstock for the uh, main part for the for the bodies let's say or call it like that and then the a colorful paper here for the embellishment or the additional parts and then there are these trees and I thought I had this left over here that was embossed black um, embossing um, um, powder I used here and I thought that might be perfect for the trees and the bushes and it is so and then you have this this little yeah cloth hanging on um, a, a line here and for drying and I, I find that so adorable but what I I cut it out of course but I I used it differently Again, differently. Yeah, that's what I like to do. So, such tiny parts, it's incredible. It is a bit fuzzy, but it's great. I love it. Okay, so I'm not using them all, but uh, some of the stuff. So, and then these are the skyline I will use for the background when I make my card. I cut that out. Well, I'm not using these uh, cutouts. I will use the negative here. You can see on the right, that's what I'm using for the background. Okay, I prepare my background here with Distress Inks. Yeah, that's what I do. I use blues for the background on top. It is different ones, uh, salty ocean, stormy sky, and yeah, all my blues I have actually. And I will, that stormy skies for the yeah, last bit on top. And on the bottom I use green, that's mode lawn. And um, that's it actually, mode lawn. Something else, nope. Bit of more blue here for the edges, a bit darker. And that's for the bottom. 
I what else did I use? No, that's it. So a bit of water sprinkling, let it dry a tiny bit. Doesn't take long to dry here with this heat, <laughs> and take it off with um, kitchen uh, paper. Okay, I wanted to have a bit of a distressed background. But yeah, and I start here with that is pumice stone. I go in and use use it for this for this mask for the background. And I wanted to only wanted to have as a little bit of shadows in the background, far far away from my little village, you know. Okay, this one in the middle there was not really something going on, so I used my um, what is it? Something yellow. Mustard seed, mustard seed, yeah, for the middle to give it a bit, a bit more light and a um, bit more shine. Okay, now I glue everything down, every little bit, and build my scenery here. Um, of course, I had a vague idea what I would put where, and but I really still had fun, even though it's so fiddly, and I'm pretty impatient, but it was quite fun to work with <laughs> and I like this little card I doubt I will give it away it's so much work you can't really pay for that don't know no one will pay that money what it would be worth with this work I put in so fighting a bit with my trees and bushes where to put them but I found homes for them I squeezed that no I didn't squeeze it there I put it on the left I think yeah I did a bit over there, yeah, covers the balcony a bit, doesn't matter, but finally, yay, so and now my little clothes things, dresses and trousers, and that's what I do, I put them there, this is actually a jumper, I cut one sleeve off and then it's a trousers, yippee, okay, so I have women and one man and that's what i do i glue it down and i uh, after i grounded here the houses and the trees and bushes i will give this clothes legs arms and a hat for me they are tiny people i i, I find that so funny <laughs> Now, why should I hang that on the washing line? That would be so obvious. Now I'm making people from that. Okay, to make this grounding lines a bit more obvious, I use a charcoal pen. And then I blend it out with a blending stump here. Bit of shading here and there, you know, in front of the little people. And this is an alcohol marker I use for a bit of shading next to these buildings to give it a bit more depth. But at the end, of, that's it. Not doing a bit of white, of course. Some white highlights, well, that's what it needed. But then I will matte it down. And I will show you when I can't decide. You know, I have so many colors in there that I couldn't really decide what um, on, on what color I would, wanted to matte it. I really like... I really liked it all, you know, um, but yeah, this one even, that wasn't bad, really wasn't bad, but I decided to go for orange, this really um, juicy orange I used before, the green, no, 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 go for the orange girl, yep, <laughs> but before I do that, I layer it on black cardstock to have a much stronger contrast you know against that orange and um, gives the cards definitely more dimension more depth so I cut that always after I glued it down it's the lazy way and then I glue it down on my card base Make sure it is in the right direction. The open is, opening is on the right direction. And then I use this little stance here. And the simple um, title is Meine Stadt. In German, that means my town. And that's it. You will see the close-up coming now. And I had so much 
fun with it. It is absolutely fantastic. So if you liked it, please, it would be fantastic if you would give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. What do you think about that? It is um, something really I rarely do in, in, in this amount of, of dice I had, but I really had fun. Okay, so guys, I thank you a lot for watching. This is my little people here. Thank you a lot for watching and I hope I will see you soon with my next project. So I wish you a fantastic time. Bye bye.